We were created by the Almighty God, the Sovereign God, the Creator and Sustainer of the universe, the All-Sufficient God. He created us on purpose. He created us to thrive and prosper in our divine assignment as we advance the kingdom agenda. Imagine hearing God himself saying this to you as he said to Joshua in Joshua 1 verse 5. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you and I will will not forsake you child of God God's with us as his children he promised to be with us always Jesus Christ the God man he was here on earth as he assigned his disciples with the great commission he says I will be with you always God is with us right now he will not leave us or forsake us imagine the almighty God the sovereign God the creator and sustainer of the universe the all-knowing God the all-powerful God is with us right through the assignment he has given us the one who has all authority both in heaven and on earth is with us this very moment I want to encourage the brother or sister who feels like giving up I want to encourage the brother or sister who feels overwhelmed by the circumstances they are going through you might be afraid you might be stressing you might be worried right now you might be anxious right now but take it to God in prayer the Bible says the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. You might be thinking over and over about possible problems that would occur or about the problem that you are going through. I want to encourage you to be strong and courageous, to meditate on the word of God day and night. You will be successful. You will prosper in the assignment that God has given you. Every child of God out there should never doubt God's presence in their life the presence of god in our life makes it possible for us to do the assignment he has given us it's the enabling presence the presence of god in our life covers our weaknesses the presence of god in our life strengthens us in our moments of weakness we need to acknowledge his presence as god was with moses and joshua he's with us today i want to encourage you to arise and advance the kingdom agenda in a world that yes might be full of evil we thank god that we need to be inspired by his word daily so we need to take a look at his word i want to just say fix your eyes on the word fix your eyes on the word set your mind on things above fix your eyes on jesus he's the word the author and the finisher of our faith the good work that god has started he will finish in first john chapter 4 verse 4 the bible says you are of god little children you have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world father god we thank you that you will reveal truth to us as we meditate on your word day and night. We will do as you tell us and we will manifest your greatness, your power, your wisdom wherever we are. Thank you that you open our eyes to your truth. Thank you, Lord God, that you make us realize the wealth that is at our disposal, the wisdom that we have in Christ Jesus, the power that we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that we will prosper and be successful in our divine assignment. Therefore, we'll be strong and courageous right now. When we are afraid, we will trust you in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever we go, we know that you are present with us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It's Pastor Basani. Have a wonderful day to all the men out there. The men's conference tomorrow. It starts at 1030 115 Collins Road in Brixton. See you there if you can make it. Blessings.